Hello everyone, my name is Fate Touched and this is me playing games. And that is Oppunk already here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go over here and now, magically you should be able to hear things. Yes? Yes, yay, we got it. Okay, so this is part two of our playthrough of the fourth Haunted Hotel game, Charles Dexter Ward which we discovered was actually um, a Lovecraftian reference based on one of his short stories. It doesn't appear to have uh, Cthulhu in it though, sorry to disappoint. We played the first one up to the end of the demo and the last game was a little chaotic because I was interrupted. Yes, uh, that that's good. Yeah, last time um, I was interrupted by everyone, including my computer and but mostly my children now we should be able to finish the game and let's see how that goes where we left off was we were trapped on an island and we'd made a boat by stuffing a broken boat full of moss and using a sign as a paddle the sign as a paddle is actually pretty cool and there was this large smoke and creepy lovecraftian ghouliness and that bush looks like it's trying to eat something doesn't it I didn't take my ADHD medication today, just for a warning. Um, so we're going, <laughs> so we're going across the lake back to the main mansion. That was easy. Okay. Um, let's see if anything's changed over this way. Nope. Do I have any, what do I have? I have a seltzer bottle and a pocket knife. Well, at least they let me keep the pocket knife. I don't know what I'm going to use a seltzer bottle for. Um, oh wait, I remembered what I was going to use a seltzer bottle for. I decided I wanted to try to use it on the snake. See if that makes the snake go away. It does! I am so smart. Oh, you didn't see him running away because my menu was in the way. He slithered that way. But now I can open the window. Okay, maybe I can't open the window. Oh, he can use the pocket knife. I probably wasn't supposed to figure this out yet. Um, let, let me go, let me go see if there's something over here. Like, I probably can't get back in the front, I assume. The door is closed, I have to find another way inside. Yeah, okay, I thought so. All right. I just figured that out while I was editing the other day, so. <laughs> Ooh, new room. This is a very decrepit kitchen. B-H-O-3. Hydrogen peroxide, oh, boric acid. Boric acid. And let's see what's on the table. Ooh, I get to make something. Pour boric acid into the bowl with the candle wick cord on it. Huh? Melt the wax. Place a piece of the cut candle wick cord in the candle form. Fill the form with melted wax. Okay. Why? What does that do? Am I just trying to make a candle? Wait, why is... Oh, that's the boric acid. Um, and this is a pan for pouring wax. And that's the candle bowl. I assume we're trying to make a candle. I don't know what the boric wax has to uh, do with anything. Not that I'm big on making candles. Uh, my family doesn't particularly like me playing with fire because I tend to make a mess with all the wax. What was that? Spirit. So alcohol. I don't know why they couldn't have just said that. I'm picking up melted candles from everywhere. I won't let them play with fire because they're bad at it. I'm good at it. I just make a mess with the wax. I have, in fact, come home to things lit on fire before, which is why I am not keen on, uh... No, no, you're not. I came home one time with a room full of adults, and one of my adult friends was melting army soldiers, in plastic army soldiers, into centaurs on my coffee table. That is why you are not allowed to play with fire. Yes, I know you made centaurs, and it was all Vinny, and I understand that, but... Okay, where do I put this? Alright. I put boric acid in... No, I don't put... What, what did this say? 
Pour a castle into the bowl with a candlewick cord in it. I don't have any candlewick cord. Right? No, I do not. Okay. That's kind of the most important part of the candle. I mean, wax is also important, but if you don't have a wick, the wax kind of doesn't make a difference. Wait, am I allowed to go out this door? Is it too dark? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. To be fair, I wouldn't want to go out into that hotel without light either. Can I use any of this? Can I use a knife to get this loose? No? Okay. Um, nothing new here. You didn't miss anything here. The gates are still locked, right? Yep. Okay. And I can't go over there. Already did that. All right, let's go back over this way. There was another direction to go in. That way. I assume at some point this uh, is going to get taken down and there's going to be like a secret passage through there. But I don't see anything else. You use that rope as candle wick. Probably wouldn't work very well, though. I guess it depends on what kind of rope it is. Uh, nothing down here. we got to move that, but that we need an axe for. What's up here? Oh, that we need the bicycle chain for. Hmm. All right. There's nothing here. Yeah, just the bird feeder. We already got stuff out of the bird feeder. Okay. So we need to pour the spirit into the thing. Do we have something to light that with? Light, yeah. Wait, what's that? Oh, yeah, okay. That's the bowl to put the wicks in, which we don't have any of. That's a empty box bag of cookies. I don't see bags of cookies very often anymore. Um, boric acid is supposed to go in. Oh, okay. Now it lets me put it in there. Can I put the pan down there? Oh, I put the pan on there and then I can put the candles in here. But I need a way to light the flame and I need candle wick material. Maybe I have to go back to the island. This game does seem to be the type where it's going to have you wander about quite a bit. Though we haven't had to do it that much yet. There's nothing here, right? Oop. Okay, I guess I can't go back to the island. Well, that just uh, halved the amount of places I can look for things. Huh. We stuck. I noticed that. Um, hmm, I'm missing something either blatantly obvious or super hard to find. One or the other. I press hint. Take matches from the right cupboard in the kitchen. I looked through all the cupboards in the kitchen. Didn't I? Oh, I thought that was part of the table. Okay, that's fair. I thought that that eyeball was connected to this eyeball. All right, now we have all the stuff. So we have candle wick. Why are we soaking it in boric acid? I've never heard of that before. I assume that's a candle making thing, but. There we go. Did I get, oh, I even got to keep the matches. I should have a pot holder here, but we'll, we'll let that slide. And, oh, right. You need to cut it first. That's probably a good idea. One candle. That would take slightly longer to harden than that, but... That wax pouring noise is kind of silly. Okay. And we put the candles in the candelabra. Or candlestick. 
I think a candlestick only has one candle holder part. Oh, I have to light it first. That's probably also a good idea. There we go. Up oh, the matches are gone now, though. Bummer. And I use the candelabra on the door. Oh, spooky. If I can find the handle for the phone, maybe I can call for help. I kind of don't think that that kind of uh, phone is the kind that will actually work. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, the kitchen was through there. That's what that locked door was. Uh, that's the mirror and the light switch, but the power is off. So let's try the first floor. Oh, right. All these doors are missing things. Is there new information here? Not so far. There's that hat again. Um, nope, no information here. Yes, I know, it's a fedora. And there's our uh, Mark Zuckerberg HP Lovecraft um, amalgamation. Yeah, I still don't have anything for any of these puzzles. It's just the door, right? Yep. Okay. Can't I light the fireplace with the candle? Ooh, I can. Yay! That Don't I want the candles? What happened? I couldn't sleep knowing what was happening to Charles. My only clue to saving him is the note written in his own hand. It mentions chapter 13 of something called the Necronomicon. I've studied every paper of Kerwin's I could find. From his correspondence, I learned that it's a book of ancient rituals. I found a note about a pattern carved on the table and a strange casket. A letter in it said the Necronomicon is in the Swamp House and that the pattern is a map. I have to find this Necronomicon so that I can save Charles, possibly myself. With each moment that I spend here, I feel more and more that I'm not alone. I mean, that's fair. There was a giant smoke monster chasing her. Yes, very fancy. So here's the map. Okay, and this must be something I found. The map on the table can only be used with the compass. To create one, you will need a magnetized needle. You will need a magnetized needle. The magnetized end will point north. Put the magnetized needle in water to use it as a compass arrow. And the cork, and a cork so the needle won't sink. I already knew how to make a, a thing like that, but I don't have any of those things. So that is kind of... Ah, we missed that the first time. Anything else we missed? A little floaty thing. I guess we don't need anything there. Anything up here. We already played with the clock. Whoa! That was uncalled for! I woke up to the sound of the door not being turned. No amount of money could have made me move. I was so afraid. I lay in bed and listened to the eerie silence and the beating of my own heart. Then the creeping of the knob again. My mind raced, raced, gasping for logic. Could it be the house settling? Maybe it was just a mouse. I carefully scanned the dark room, checking my options. How could I escape? What should I do? I don't know how long I sat there thinking before I finally let myself relax. Yet the next morning, when the door was lit by sun, I opened it with dread, expecting something awful behind it. There was nothing. My heart was beating wildly the entire time. G.S. Now, we decided that G.S. was the reporter. Actually, I decided this while I was editing it. I was very confused in the last game. There are three people writing letters that I know about. G.S. is a reporter that's gone missing, according to a newspaper clipping. clipping. Uh, Charles Dexter Ward is my brother, um, the main character's brother. And then there's Kerwin, who is the bad guy in this. And they have all left letters around. I 
don't know how that got onto a tree, but okay. Wait, no, I wanted to keep looking in there. Hmm. That actually didn't give me any new information. Just that the house is creepy, which we already knew, because there's a ghost spirit thing in it. Also, yes, not didn't that happen in the last thing? Or one of the other games where something really scary was happening and then it turned out it was just nothing and that was super scary. That seems really familiar. Also, still haven't found any spooky looking pictures, even though the uh, dude said the, um, wait, didn't we read this one already? Jay Kerwin, that's the bad guy. You can tell because there's a Cthulhu at the bottom of his uh, stationery. The dead, wait, why was it there then? It's weird. Definitely read the, oh, I need a ladder to get up there. And I need more pieces to get in there. Okay, so now I have a knife. And I need to make a magnet to be able to follow a map. And I need all kinds of different things to open doors in the house. But I don't have any of them. Wait, we read this one too, didn't we? Yeah, no. Oh, maybe they just respawned because I, this is a, um, this isn't the demo anymore. Because we totally read that one too. Oh, I don't remember it being down here. Okay. Uh, I need to find something for the phone. Let's go back in the kitchen. Why do I need this in the kitchen? I thought that- Oh, okay. I shouldn't need this in the kitchen. The kitchen was bright yesterday. The little flashlight do. Alright, find a puzzle. Corkscrew buckle padlock. Corkscrew buckle padlock. Is that a buckle? Yes. Padlock. Um, I really love the art in this game. Beetle. Very pretty beetle. And a cockroach. Probably not as pretty. Ew, there's a centipede too. There's a cockroach. Rat. Um, let's see. Bow, mushroom, rose. Bow. I thought I saw a mushroom. Maybe not. There's a mushroom. There's a rose. Brush, nail, walnut. Is that like a crepe? Or is that supposed to be like a napkin? Because that looks like a crepe. There's a corkscrew. What was I looking for? Brush, nail, walnut. Brush, nail, Walnuts. Is that the nail? Yep. There's an egg. That's not a walnut. That's a seashell. Is that a walnut? Yep. It's a half a walnut. This could be useful. Of course there's no running water. I better look for another place to get water. What about the lake? What do I need water? Oh, I need water for the magnet. I already forgot. I can still look at this though. That's annoying. Um, no, we're not doing lobster sticks to magnet again. Wait, can't I leave the room? Oh, now I can go out through the front door. That makes more sense. Oh no, it's raining. A saw blade. Semi helpful. Okay, and I guess we're skipping the front door now. Sure, why not? I could get some water from here. You could get some water from the lake. There's literally a lake, but that's fine. We can get water from the puddle. We just need something to carry it in. All right, let's go to the shed. Oh no. I won't lie, that darkness is starting to make me nervous. It's starting to make you nervous? A live darkness smoke monster thing is just starting to make you nervous? Ay, oh, take me. All right. Let's see. Acorn keyhole scissors and a weird mask, dude. Acorn. I know, right? I still can't figure out what time period it's supposed to be in either. Aha, we have a second chatter in the chat. It's advanced darkness. You're you're adorable. All right. 
Oh, I was looking right at that. Key, scissors. Those are not scissors. Those are shears. Those were not scissors. Knife. There's a pen. Oh, I needed a pen. Uh, knife, spool, coins, lure. For those just joining us, I didn't take my ADHD medication this morning. So, if my mind starts to wander, wander, wonder it might start to wonder too uh that is why art razor blade i totally saw the razor blade oh we could use a wrench oh yay i didn't read that part there's a knife alice in wonderland what about alice in wonderland which is one of my favorite stories slash books wonderland yes i i once again Dyslexic. Also, off meds. Um, coins. I haven't seen coins. Where are the coins? Coins, 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 coins. There's a key cat and a spider. I love this weird mask. I keep looking at the weird mask. I do need a hug -a bot My my dear friend here, uh, Aut Punk, there's the coins, writes stories. And in one of her stories, she has a robot called hug -a bot and its purpose in life is to keep you from having anxiety attacks and to remind you to take your medicine and do self-care. Okay. Which should be a thing in real life, honestly. Let's see what else. Ooh, and gloves. Oh, there's another knife. I guess I don't need two knives. Oh, I could take this instead of worrying about finding a handle for the knife I had. But I guess that's a saw, not a... No, phone and Google Calendar cannot give you snuggly hugs. That is, that's the anxiety part. It's not a app, it's a robot. See, there is a big difference. Snuggly hugs are important. Sprayer, insect spray. What do I have to combine the rusty, oh, rusty shears. I must need to uh, sharpen it. Okay, let's see. So, okay, I got distracted by- oh look, there's a gnome! I got distracted by the chat, and then I got distracted by my inventory, and now I forget what I was doing. Uh, we need- do we have anything we can use to pick that up? No, we didn't find anything like that yet. Nope. Okay, continuing on. Let's go this way. Oh, I can use the wrench to get the- where did it go? Can I pick up a wrench? Am I imagining things? It's very possible I'm imagining things. Well, at any rate, we got that. Um, I suppose there's no sense going through the window when I can use the door. Yeah, that's fair. Ow! I bonked my hand again. Right now, my microphone is a desktop microphone, and it is sitting on top of a cardboard box. So whenever I move my hand around without looking, which is every time I move my hand around, I... Uh, end up bonking it on the corner of the cardboard box. I need to get a boom mic, um, a boom arm thing so I can have it not sitting on my desk in front of me. That way I can do Minecraft Let's Plays too because I tried to do a Minecraft one uh, not that long ago and it turned, oh wait, go back. Look, look, the rain washed the blood away. That must have been fresh blood. That is a really nice, uh, touch. Wait, I didn't even notice the boat. The boat is gone. <laughs> Ahem. Oh no, the boat is gone. And look, the blood washed away from here. <sighs> I swear. I need to replace the motor before I move the log. I really think you should do that in the other order. But that's just me. Shush. Bait is off her meds. I have got to get rid of the log blocking the wheel. Yeah, I know. I said that. Do I have- oh, I have a saw now. I was waiting for an axe. That is not how fast those spin! Holy crow! That would be shooting water like 50 feet up into the air! <laughs> the power supply to the hotel is restored. 
that was impressive work, if I do say so myself. <laughs> that is not how water wheels work. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. <clears throat> yes, so let's go back to the hotel. This game is just silly business, I swear. Alright. What did we get out of that? Uh, we got a bug sprayer, a metal pin. Is that for this? I don't remember what we were missing here. Oh, no, no. We're missing the, um, the, the dial up. Not dial up. The hand crank for the phone. I'm pretty sure. Dial up. Phones do not have dial up. I don't need to get water. That's still all that's here, right? Yeah, okay. Nothing else in here. Go back down this way. What else do I have? I have coins. Oh, wait, there was a coin. I think it's upstairs, though. Yep, the coin um, door is upstairs. It's this one, I think. Hey, what is that? Oh good, I was afraid it was going to keep doing that. Puzzle piece. Okay, let's do this one first since we found this one first. Okay. This is not a hard puzzle. But I have never done it in one go. And this is probably not going to be the time I do it in one go. That was weird. I don't think I did that right already. I didn't. Wait, maybe I did. My mind is like not having any of this. Come on, you can do this. Right? Did I do it in one try? Oh, well, okay. I haven't done it yet, but... Looking good! <gasps> I did it! I did it in one try! Yay! You guys saw that, right? Is that like a wolf in a skull? I'm good at this! <laughs> Okay. Ah, so now we are in an office. A cam... Is that, where is the camera case? Red only. Developer fixer. Okay. I can develop here, film here. You can develop film here if you turn the light off. Okay. Just so we're clear. Yeah, that's another big staple of uh, these games. Oh, it's over here. Oh no, that's still the desk. So we need to find a red light bulb or a way to paint this light bulb red. Those tend to be the two options in these games. Okay. Uh, what, what puzzle piece is this? Oh, this is the sliding puzzle. Puzzle's just such a pain in the ass. Okay. Yes, I realized that I complain about puzzle games all throughout the puzzle game that I am playing on purpose. You like these puzzles? They are sometimes lots of fun and make sense, and sometimes they do not do either of those things. The ones I hate the most are those stupid, uh, can I move them sideways? Of course not. Those stupid, um, the square ones where you have to, where there's one empty space and you have to move everything around. My poor dyslexic brain done like that. I always end up doing things exactly the opposite way they're supposed to be done. Yes, see, see, not just me. All right, this one doesn't seem to be too bad. Except I can't figure it out, so maybe it is. I almost had it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 
And it's a not nice level of hell, too. It is like a mean level of hell. Yeah, some people love these puzzles. They're wrong, but they do. What am I trying to accomplish here? Am I just doing the same thing over and over and over again? You miss Professor Layton. Isn't there a new one coming out or am I making that up? Or was someone complaining that there should be a new one coming out? Which seems more likely. What I want to do, I can't do. I want to move this one down here. But this one's in the way. No, let's not make shapes irregular. Ooh, I can move that up. I don't know how that helps me. Ooh, I can move that over. That helps me, probably. Right, because then I can move this one. Yay, I did it. Oh, see, that doesn't count. Wait, is this another hallway or was I not paying attention? I mean, both of those things, but. Ah, that one just needs a key. Oh, this is a newspaper puzzle. It's locked from the inside. Not that I play these games a lot. What is that? Must be part of a puzzle. Guess I can't go through that door. This door is just closed. It's not locked, it's just closed. Couldn't I open it? All right, do I have... No, I don't have anything for that. What is that? That is a pump handle and a puzzle piece. I don't remember a puzzle piece that looked like that. Oh, oh wait, no, that's where I was just was. What's over here? That room I was in, the study, oh, I was in the study too. I need a ladder to get, I guess the other door is downstairs. Let's see, nope, that's not it. Oh, this must be it, okay. This is another type of game I don't like. Um, poop. Yeah, I agree. Did I just do it? Tell me that's it. That's right, right? Oh, it's not. This corner's wrong. That's not fair. I did it on accident correctly, except for one corner. Two corners. This one's wrong, too. That one goes there. And this one goes here and this one goes there I think or maybe this one goes there I, I'm I don't know if you noticed that I'm stalling until the hint warms up on this one because I made an X and the game is gonna have to like that much <laughs> I gotta say, if there was actually a creepy house with treasure inside of it or whatever that had puzzles like these in real life, I wouldn't be able to get in. Not if you had to use the puzzles. I mean, I would just break a hole in the wall next to the door, but that's why I'm not allowed to go to um, escape room things, because that's the best way to escape a room that's locked. <laughs> Unless the walls are made of concrete, and then you're screwed. So, we're just uh, waiting for the uh, little hint bulb to warm up. There we go. Yay. Skip. Yes. Really honest. See, look how nice I did. Okay. Oh, a letter. Oh no! I fall- oh, that doesn't look pleasant. Not Cthulhu, but certainly not pleasant. Hmm. Oh, one of these puzzles. No, wait, how do I switch him? Do I have to click on it? No? Oh, I can only switch him from there. Okay. That's fine. 
Shouldn't have put them so close together then. <whistles> Note whistling. They whistle a lot. I don't know why. It makes my brain work better. Okay, is that actually in the right order? No, I got two wrong. Dang. Uh, best way to fix this is what? Ta da! Ah, ha 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 ha. Oh, that's the pump handle. And that needs a pin. I don't know why I need that, but sure. Oh, what's in here? I don't know what that was. What was that? Oh, a shovel. Okay. All kinds of uh, archaic runes back to the room. Oh, okay. Hey, okay, let's get the stuff out of here first. Because. Wait, what was that? I thought that was a computer for a minute. I'm like, long time period. Pretty sure there's no computers yet. Whatever time period we happen to be in. Okay, let's go back downstairs now. The wolf from the never-ending story? That is not a wolf. That is a dragon. Or lizard creature. Okay. Definitely some sort of alchemy lab. What am I going to make here? It's blood. Oh no, I think something. someone was painting something. Use this to evaporate ingredients. Okay. Mortal. Mortar, rather. Why did I just take the pestle? Shouldn't I... I guess... Loose blood. <laughs> Oil. Uh, I don't know what that is. Or what that other thing was. Or what this is. Alright, what did I get just now? An oil can that has a plus on it. Red paint. Oh, that's for the stupid light bulb. Where's the light bulb? Can I? Okay, good. Wait, did that work? Maybe I need a paintbrush. This doesn't actually work, by the way. You can't actually paint a um, light bulb red with, like, paint because that won't make the light red, that will make the light dark. Because paint is not translucent. Free range blood. You guys are weird, you know that? Okay. Yes, all the time. Watercolor wouldn't work because <laughs> that wouldn't block out enough light. Uh, okay. Oh, we got... That's not the right room. Where's the... Oh, the other one's upstairs. Over here? This one, right? Yeah, okay. Um... So we can get rid of some of this stuff. The trays. And the developer. And the fixer. I actually took a photography class, so I actually know what all this stuff is. Still can't paint light bulbs, though. I guess I do need a paintbrush for that. It was actually old when I took the class, to be fair. The year I graduated high schools, they had high school, they had just started using um, digital cameras. The typewriter class, holy crap. When I started um, freshman year of high school, it was 1991 and they were still teaching typing on typewriters. There were computers at that point, for those of you who don't know. That was very late in the game to be teaching typing on typewriters. My school was kind of janky. Okay, we don't have any film yet, which is one of the things that's confusing me about this part of the puzzle. Um, I guess we assume we're gonna get some. Yeah, no, no, they had computers for typing class in middle school. They just didn't have any in the high school. 
I don't know why. This is the wrong kind of ladder to do that with. Unless you just, like, shove it up there to get the door out of the way. Oh, okay. Didn't I get a wrench? I keep saying it didn't I get a wrench, but I don't think I got a wrench. Okay. Well, at any rate, let's see what's up here. A new phone! Oh, that's a camera. Did I just take... Okay, for a moment I thought I just took raw film out of there without it being in something. I actually don't know how. Uh, you have an attic, third rate. I have an attic, but the person who lived here before me actually boarded it up, so you can't go in there. Maybe there's dead bodies up there. Who knows? Why was that stuck inside a radio? Nice radio. Maybe I should remember this is here. Okay. I mean, the house isn't that big. Maybe there's a slide puzzle up there. There might be something in my attic that can't get out. It's hard to say. There's, like I said, they literally plastered over the entrance to the attic. Which is probably a bad sign, but eh, what can you do, right? Did I get the- oh, I have a bowl, but I need water. Let's go get the water. My kids used to think that the princess's other castle was in the attic at our old house. I don't know why. Oh wait, no, I want to go this way. But wait, did, oh, that's a button. That's the bowl. That was my fault. And YouTube, yeah, probably. Did I get a magnet yet? I don't think so. I can't do the magnet thing without there being a magnet. Oh, I can use the um, the weed killer on the uh, overgrown vines, though. They didn't have YouTube back then. I mean, there was YouTube, but my kids weren't allowed to watch it. Now there's no stop. I don't want to do that. Really? All right. Rope. Rusty shears, a pestle, red paint, oil, film. Can I put this in there yet? Nope, I need the magnet first. A button. It's a weird assortment of things. Oh, maybe, but I don't know. Oh, because it's got a plus. Okay. I thought I needed to sharpen them, not oil them. But yep, you're right. Ah ha ha! A secret gate! If you guys had had Vine when you were in high school, heaven knows what trouble you would have gotten into. The fact that my friends didn't have YouTube when they were in high school is probably why some of them are still alive. There's no way for the gates... The, bleh, let me start over. There's no way the gates will open without a special key. That happens to be shaped like Cthulhu, apparently. I still say those... Gargoyles look like the kind that come to life and try to get you. TikTok, yeah. Vine was pre-TikTok. It's weird that there are people that don't know that. I think those are probably handmade, personally. Okay, I think we're done over here with this stupid... <laughs> stupid water wheel. Okay. Uh, there's nothing else here. Can I do anything? No, okay. That's fine. I think the only thing in the shed was the, uh... Yeah, the coffee grinder. I don't think there's anything else in here. I mean, there's a saw right there that would probably be pretty useful, but... I mean, there might be. Creepy mansion outlet. No, I still need... Do I have anything that would work for that? Can I use this? No. See, what these games also fail to, fail to realize is that I would try the most wackadoo stuff. Oh, that's my brother's handkerchief. I missed that. Um, to get things to work in this game. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't use the pump. I don't know what it's for, but we didn't do it. It's only pumping air. I should check the other end of the hose. Elevator? 
we we were in the room and we didn't turn around to see if there was anything behind us. Yeah. Okay. The thing about Sierra puzzles in the old games we used to play is they were very simple if you were thinking the exact same way the creator of the puzzle was th thinking. Also, Mist. We spent an entire summer beating Mist. I remember there was one Sierra game. Yes, it was an awesome summer. I remember there was one Sierra game that we literally couldn't get past. We, we left it for years without beating it because we couldn't figure out this one part. Vist is in V... Vist. Mist is in VR now, huh? Is it the same old graphics or did they redo all of it? Because it would be amazing to see the old graphics in VR. I kind of figured. All right, let's see. Again, I heard that screeching sound inside the walls. When I turned on the light, I swear I saw the wallpaper rippling. But the movement and the noise stopped almost immediately. I jumped out of bed and ripped off the wallpaper. Okay. There was nothing except regular plaster. Wide awake now, I took my flashlight and started to investigate the ground floor halls. I had a strong feeling that the oak panels were infested with rats. Oh, good. We're going to play Rats in the Walls now. That's one of my favorite short stories. They were moving very loudly behind the walls. It seemed like they were moving downward to the basement, possibly deeper. I couldn't explain it. I admit I was scared. The thought of an army of rats sliding down through the walls. I can do nothing but return to my room and wait for morning. G.S. Yeah, the, the name of the cat in the original Rats in the Walls short story is problematic in the most possible way it could be. Though they have changed the name in the more recent publications and um, videos and whatnot to Black Man. So if you can guess what it was since they changed it to Black Man, you can guess what the name of it was before. Yeah. Oh, there's another Cthulhu panel. Let's see. Oh, this must be where the button goes. Buttons don't work like that generally, but that's fine. There's no way I'm going in a janky elevator in this house. There's literally a pit in front of it. Why didn't I just take the stairs? Oh, got it. Probably not. Lovecraft was uh, kind of crazy, especially towards the end. Ooh, a box. Uh, my knife. Where's my knife? Blue light bulb. Send each relic separately on a different date. Oh boy. Miss Ka Miss Cat Anok Anik Miss Cat Anik Crypt Lovecraft HP Westchester Cemetery R. Matthews MD Bright Hill Cemetery J. Morgan PhD Arkham Public Cemetery, P. Steinen. Misotonic. Thank you. I wasn't taught phonics in, in my elementary school. D d yeah, you can say the C is a K. Miskatonic. Whatever. I wasn't, let, let me go ahead. I wasn't taught phonics in elementary school. At the time when I was got to first grade, they were doing whole word learning. So you were just supposed to remember what all of the words were and sounded like. So that plus my dyslexia did not help my uh, reading of weird words ability. Sorry if I mispronounce things. Okay, let's see. All relics must be packed sufficiently to avoid potential loss. You shall receive the necessary documentation to disguise the cargo as company goods. Contact me only, Jay Kerwin. Is he like cutting up famous people? and um making a new body or something are you guys discussing how you pronounce this word still i'm closing that now you can't see it anymore okay i don't know what he was trying to get from those cemeteries but it probably wasn't good 
I don't see it in real time because I'm looking at the screen and then I notice stuff pops up and then I go over here and read what it is. So shush. Okay, there's a magnet. I don't know what that is. This cable goes to the antenna on the roof. Radio of some sort. Okay. Another clock. A phonograph with no... Well, okay, it's missing a plug. It's also missing the, like... Wow, I forgot the word. It's not a horn. It looks like a horn. Tube thing. It's missing the top part. And that's missing a plug. Okay. Are these records? They are records. Plates with some strange symbols. Those aren't plates, are they? Maybe they are plates. Okay, I guess I can't do whatever that is now. And I guess they aren't records. All right, so I guess we're done in here. Let's go back out here. What do we pick up in there? We got the magnet so we can magnetize the needle and then we can put them in the water. Oh, I guess we have to put that down first. Okay, that's fair. Uh, that door is closed. We've opened that door. Where did we need the needle? Ah, uh, in the study. Oh no, this is his room. Okay. Pull of water down, and then put those guys- wait, what am I missing? Oh, I need a cork! I knew that. I need to find a bottle to open with the bottle opener. This isn't corked, is it? I don't think it is. No, because it doesn't have a plus anyway. Okay. Okay, so we need to find a cork. What else did we find up there? A blue, a UV light bulb. Okay. Does it want me to use a UV light bulb in here? Why? If, if you paint a light bulb that's blue red, you will get purple, not red. All right, I guess I still, oh, can I use the, Nope, that doesn't have a plus. I guess I do need a paintbrush or something. I don't, I'm kind of confused. Ooh! What is this? What strange symbols? I should break this floorboard with something. Or write down the symbols. Your first idea is to break the floorboard. Hammer? Key. That would not be what I would have done in that situation. But whatever. Okay, so now we have the film. Room needs to be lit with- yeah, I know that. I was just gonna put it down so it's not in my inventory. Alright. Oh, that was a UV light bulb for some reason. And- and see, it- it- wait, I went in the wrong room. And it illuminated these letters on the floor, and the fir our first thought was we should break the board and move to find what's in it. I don't know. Horror movies do not have smart protagonists. I happen to agree there. Uh, where was the key? No, this is just the attic. And we didn't find anything for this, right? We need a wrench. Yeah. One of the doors was locked with a key. That was in the other hallway, I think. Isn't it? No, maybe it's downstairs. Nope, not that one. Back room. Huh. No, I know I saw a door that had a key. Okay, so that's the back room that leads to the basement. This we don't have the key for yet. Where was the gate? No, that was the um, Cthulhu lock. This is like just a key key. Like the kind you use to open normal, do <clears throat> normal doors. I just don't remember where it was. I thought we found it recently though. Study, yeah. We can't open that door, that's the attic. I know I saw a door that needed a key. I am not crazy. Oh, the desk drawer. Oh, the desk drawer. See? I remembered. There it is. I don't know what that was. What is that? Corked bottle. What's in it, though? Not gonna tell me what's in it? 
I mean, it's probably booze, but in this house, who knows? Poison? Yeah, it could be. Or magic. I don't think there was magic in the bottle, dude. Okay. So the blue side of the needle points north. Yay. Put the magnetized needle in the water and use it as a compass arrow. Add the cork so the needle won't sink. Uh-huh. Shouldn't I write that map down? Ha-ha. Ha-ha. I'm just gonna go out and use this where, though? I did get a compass. No, that's a shed. Where can I use it? Compass. No. What is wrong with you two? Oh, Erudite's here! I didn't notice that was you. I was looking out of the corner of my eye. Really? Do I have to ban you or something? That guy's ridiculous. Well, I can't get in there yet. I didn't find that thing. I haven't found anywhere I can use a compass. Okay, so I have a compass I can't use yet. I know where north is now, but which way am I supposed to go? Like, I have no place to use it. I have film and red paint, but I can't actually put the paint on the light bulb, which isn't actually how you're supposed to do things. Anyway, I have a full sprayer. I actually don't remember if this is weed killer or bug sprayer now that I think about it. I have a shovel. Do I need to dig anything? Can't get in here yet. There's a pretty garden back there. Nothing to do here. I don't want to go through the window again. I don't have anything to crush, right? Nope. I did not find the handle for this yet. Nope. Uh, nope, that's just that. This is the kitchen, and there's nothing in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Oh, not even the water anymore. Okay. That's the mirror. Mirror. That we're missing a piece for. This is the back room. Yeah, last time we weren't really stuck, we just weren't paying attention, which is different. It's in the basement. Okay, we did the pump. We got stuff out of there. Is there anything else over here? That's a Cthulhu. That seems like it should be important, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a decoration. Oh, we're supposed to do stuff down here. I don't know what, though. Trapped into evaporate ingredients. Red paint? I can paint something red here. <sighs> Alright, fine. Pretty sure I could have just poured the paint on it, but whatever. Alright, so. Uh, let's go develop the film, I guess. I actually... That way. There we go. Um, I guess we gotta go back upstairs. I'm not sure which way would have been faster. Probably the other way. Here we go. Okay, so now we replace the blue light bulb with the red light bulb. And now we develop the film. We, what do we do? Developer plus fixer. Okay. So the first one's the developer. Where's the film? Not actually how this works, but that's okay. You have to actually develop the film in the dark, and then you use the red light to develop photos from the film. Now I have developed film. Oh, here we go. Ooh! Why would you do that? Why would you hide something and take a picture of where it is? We had this in another game. Was it one of these? I don't remember. Yeah, it was! The dude! Th that was really dumb, though. The dude in the second game 
there was a painter and he painted a picture of where a key, a hidden key was in a room he wasn't staying in and then painted over top of it so that if we removed the first painting, we would see that there was a key hidden in a floorboard in a room that he happened to be locked in the bathroom of. And if you didn't follow that, we didn't either. <laughs> you have to go back and watch the second game. I'm going to dig up a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. Ta-da! Now we have the key to the garden. And it is Cthulhu, just as I expected. Oh, this looks fun. Where am I here? Alright, I was gonna go. Ugh, it's gonna take forever. Alright, go this way. I actually like maze games, but I like maze games more when they're from my perspective and I can make a map of them. And then I can find my way out of places. This guy walks really fast. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. She's a woman. She walks very fast. Also, she has an umbrella. I didn't know that. That should be in our list of equipment that we need. Wait, do I need to like go over here? That looks important. Nope, okay, I just need to get out. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Why did someone tie a stick birdhouse to a tree? I guess so. She did look like a very proper lady. This is a good place to build a fire. I don't need to build a fire. Um, what is that? Oh, okay, we'll just pick it then. That's fine. We need to scrape this wet moss off the tree somehow. Probably the long branch, you know? Oh, wait, where's my knife? There's my knife. Nope, wrong thing. There we go. I don't think so. Also, I think you're making that up. What is this? Stuck. I need some kind of lever. Big branch? That's not how levers work. Levers just move things up and down, not side to side. Oh, really? From Lovecraft? Okay, let's see. Well, third grade is typing, apparently. Because he needs to tell me who wrote that book or story. Everything is coming together in a terrifying picture. Kerwin's books speak of necromancy. Newspaper clippings mention accidents to nearby towns. Empty coffins in the crypt. This hotel probably never had guests. He had total privacy. Kerwin is a necromancer. There was only ever one Jay Kerwin who was born hundreds of years ago. He built an isolated place to carry out his experiments, resurrecting various creatures and humans. How could he possibly live for such a long time? Could he still be alive? According to the papers, he took relics from people such as scientists and philosophers. I believe this refers to their bones, based on the correspondence Kerwin and Orne were trying to transfer the knowledge and power of these dead people into themselves. Using this technique, they could live forever. I feel that all of these sounds and shadows are not a, a trick of my mind. I must publish what I've learned, and quickly. And that looks like a weird skull, and that is definitely some sort of creepy thing. By Jack London. Ah, no, I did not read that. Oh, I w already went up there. My brains just went away. Oh, I remember this scene from the, um, from the teaser trailer when we beat the demo. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to smoke the birds away by building a fire nearby. Why don't I just yell at them and go, whoosh, 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 whoosh. or throw rocks at them like I did earlier. That would be easier. Did 
They're tougher than they look. I'm going to need to cut them. They die. Living people are alive. They die when you kill them. You two are so weird. All right, do I have something to cut them with? I have those, well, I guess I can cut them with my knife. Here we go. Uh, huh. Okay, so what did I get? I got pine needles, which it's raining, so they'd probably be wet. Reeds, which are also wet. And moss, which is also also wet. And a lighter. That would not light that fast. Now, it would make a really smoky fire. I'll grant you that. The fire is still burning. Isn't it supposed to be? That scared away the crows. Sure, why not? It's the swamp house. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's the handle for the phone for some reason. And a uh, really scary... I forget what those things are called. I want to say wicker man, but I think those are made of wicker. Lair witch? No, it's not Lair witch. Wise guy. I have to find instructions. For what? It is? That's literally what that's from. They didn't make it from something else. Which I kind of figured they did. I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, I have to find instructions. For what? That's what I know it's from. Oh, well, I know you know it's from that, but I don't think that's what it's actually from. <gasps> the Necronomicon! This is the book! Now I can learn how to save Charles! This is bad playing, lady. Body injected with elixir described in the Red Dragon Scroll. Scent of oil produced by special berry juice and leaves of grave bush. Both commonly found near old cemetery grounds. That writing is backwards. Invocation spoken near the body with special voice intonation. That is also written backwards. Face rinsed with dead water taken from spirit of the forest. Water must be in special container. Is that like a face or a flower? Like an open mouth? And then these are other teeth. That does not look pleasant, whatever it is. Not supposed to read the Necronomicon. Ooh, what's that? It's luck. My string of good luck in this horrible place continues. Can I just open it or cut into it? I don't care if it gets broken or not. Um, what is this talisman frame? Okay, sure. Okay, now I have... Can I do that? I bet I can extract juice with this contraption. That's a meat grinder, so probably not. I have to find instructions. Oh, to use the meat grinder. That makes more sense. I mean, I th was he our twin? He might be our twin. Oh yeah, no, he's our twin and we are um, orphans. So he is the only one who, um, we love or something, I don't know. Ooh, uh. Oh, that's not moving. There has to be something that will help me get through the shadow. I'm certainly not going through it unless it moves. Spill it. Ah, ha 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 ha. It is the newspaper reporter. At least I assume newspaper. It's a reporter anyway. Key. Spiders. I guess he tried to go through there without... That's weird. Why does that skull have an arrow over it and those two have crosses? Ooh, flowers. Those look like petunias, though. Red and purple flowers, okay. That That's all you're gonna give me here, huh? Okay. Oh, wait, what's this? I will not be able to escape the swamp. Evil has surrounded me and its shadows are moving towards me like speechless, speechless soldiers. I'm standing in the glades surrounded by statues of unknown gods, paralyzed by fear. I am prey, caught in a death trap. I will continue to write until the remnants of my sanity finally yield to the approaching horror. Life is something you can escape, death you cannot. 
I have no time left to make a talisman, but I left the instructions inside the house. If someone reads this, get out of here. Someone must warn Charles Dexter Ward. G.S. Okay. I mean, maybe that's when he started losing his sanity. I don't know. I assume this is his. Oh, the key opens it. Got it. What was that? Phone. Why did he have the phone handle? To journey through the shadow, collect three flowers, red, purple, and green. Make juice from the flowers using a grass mill. I don't think that's a thing, but maybe it is. Paint special symbols on the fireplace ritual stone with the juice. Cut a piece of root from the side of the house. Place a special talisman frame under the ritual stone. Place a personal item on the frame. Find the ash form and fill it with the root and pieces of personal item. Burn the ash form and apply the ash to the talisman. That's extremely complicated. Okay, well, I know the flower part. I got, I got that part. There we go. It needs a handle. I have a handle. Maybe that's like a primitive juicer? It sure does look like a meat grinder. All right. Collect three flowers, make juice from the flowers, paint special symbols on the fireplace ritual stone. That must be this. Do I do it with my finger? Okay. Oh. Close enough. Oh, this is interesting. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Yeah, I don't think that one worked. Oh, it did. Okay. Are those bubbles little skulls? Oh, I'll start to make Yes, they are. I guess I don't have to be very precise, do I? Very evil bubbles. Okay. So, now the symbols are written. Let's see. Paint special symbols. Cut a piece of root from the side of the house. Okay. This stuff? That's not a root. That's a branch. The roots would be under the ground. But that's fine. Uh, so, uh, cut a piece of root from the side of the house. Place the talisman frame under the ritual stone. Okay. I think that was a lot bigger outside. Uh, let's see. Place a personal item on the frame. That would be his handkerchief. Oh, look, we made a, a flag. Um, find the ash form and fill it with the root and pieces of the personal item. What's an ash form? Ash form. Okay. Yeah personal items there. Do I need another one? Pocket knife? No! Okay, good. I want my pocket knife. I have to cut part of it off. Oh, 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 okay. I don't remember that part in here. Put a piece of the root from the side of the house. Place a special talisman frame under the ritual stone. Place a personal item on the frame. Find the ash form and fill it with the root and a piece from the personal item. Alright, fine. Okay. Then what? Wait, I need that. Burn the ash form and apply the ash to the talisman. Uh, I guess I'm going to use the fire. That's not how fire works. Okay. Um, thank you. 
And now we spread the ash on this and we take this. Okay, and now this should let us through the shadow for some reason. Because magic! Aha! That was probably too loud. Okay, so now we need to go north. Or not. Oh, north is that way. I knew that. North. And this is north, so this is west. And then this is north, I think. Yes. Nope. This is north, then. Okay. And then we need to go northeast, which would be this way. What is this? Is this the same house? Did we just go in a circle? Um... Okay. I don't understand what's going on there. If I had the right tool, I could pry off some of these boards. Um... Like a knife? Toolbox is too far away to reach. Okay. Is there a rope up here? It's not letting me grab that thing. Okay, so if I click on this, it makes the pig thing bigger and I should be able to grab that branch. Cut the branch. Alright, hint. Take the branch from the tree. Uh oh! It's not letting me do that, guys. Oh, good. I had to click in exactly the correct space place. All right, that's fine. I thought we were stuck. Yes, pixel clicking. I don't want anything else, just a crowbar. I mean, crowbars are nice, but there was like other things in there, like a wrench. Uh-oh. What just happened? Why did I run back into the house? I thought that was the same house, but why was I running? I mean, I'm okay with that to a certain extent, but it should make sense. And it didn't. I got the phone handle. Strange. Alright. Let's see if this makes any more sense. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm at John Kerwin's hotel in the swamp. I need help. Don't worry, we'll send someone out to you. Stay where you are. Someone will be there soon. Oh no. I studied the Necronomicon almost all night, making notes on how to help Charles. I need to make oil from berries and plants growing in the swamps. Then I must burn the oil in an aroma lamp near Charles. An invocation must be playing in the room. with similar symbols in the tower room. An elixir described in an old manuscript called the Red Dragon must be injected. Find a special pool in the swamp. Take water from it to a special vial. Weather is getting worse. Okay, so apparently we wrote down exactly what was already in the book, and now we're going to carry out that plan. 
That's a strange assortment of things. Matches, straight razor, and a nine. There's a knife and a banana peel. Matches, straight waver. Waver? Straight waver? Straight razor. And a nine. Yeah, the weather didn't look worse. The weather looked better. It didn't look like it was raining in that picture. Bellfish queen. There's a queen. Bellfish fishy. And let's see. Boot garlic. There's the garlic. Screwdriver. Uh, what else? Bow magnifier yin yang. All right, let's see. Picture. Bell, magnifier, and print, scissors. Wait, I don't need scissors. I was in a different puzzle. Matches, boot, screwdriver, bow, yin yang. There's the bow. Is that a clock? That's a Fabergé egg. I don't think that fly swatter is doing anybody any good back there behind all the spider webs. Screwdriver, a boot, and matches. I might pass the boot twice. Where's the matches? There they are, behind the banana peel. The banana peel was distracting me. Okay, nothing else in this room right now. Let's see, so we have matches, we have a pestle, we have a rope that we need to attach to something, and a full sprayer. Let's see, in the attic. No, it wasn't in the attic, was it? Oh, why did I take that? Okay, whatever. I oh, still don't have a wrench. Um, this is just all the camera equipment. That room doesn't open. The tower room. That's what I was thinking of, not the attic. This is a record with the invocation. Oh, okay. Good. You need to connect the mi a microphone to the transmitter. Radio without batteries. Final record. It's missing a plug and a speaker, but. Uh, what else is in here besides a giant bull as the centerpiece? Weird. That door is closed, and for some reason we can't open it. What was down here? All right, we don't have the piece for that one yet. There isn't anything in this room. And we don't need to go up the elevator because we opened that door. We can distill some or evaporate something in here, but I don't have anything to evaporate. Okay, so let's... Wait, we still have to figure out how to get back across the lake too, because someone broke our boat. Hmm. Ooh, ominous. Wait, what? Looks like this should be holding something. Okay. So does that one. Um... And in here is still just the coffee grinder, which we don't have anything to grind yet, either. And nothing- Oh no! It's the smoke monster! The shadow destroyed the gates. I can't go that way anymore. Well, how am I gonna get past the water to the thing? Stop pretending to scream every time the smoke monster comes out. <laughs> okay, there's got to be another way to the island. It's not spooky. There's got to be another way to the island. What do I have? Knife, record. I mean, the record goes on the record player. That was... Where was the record player? No. And I don't have anything to get out of that. It was down here. 
think. No, that's the basement. Remember how I said something about this house doesn't have any have that many rooms? How hard could it be? Apparently it could be hard. Okay, I've got the record. It doesn't have a plug. I have a radio without batteries. I have a pestle and matches and rope and a sprayer. Huh. Let's try going back in the basement. Is that the only place that brings me? Yeah. Can I go back down the elevator? Of course not. Now I have to go all the way back down. You stupid game. Alright, um... What's he supposed to be holding? A skull, probably. I don't have a skull. Wait, what's down here? Oh no, that's him again. Nothing going on with the house. Hmm. The plot thickens, or it doesn't. Can't go that way anymore. Well, I could climb over the wall. Alright, I'm confused. What are we looking for? Take the wooden disc in the shed. What wooden disc? Oh, there's a find it puzzle there that I completely missed. All right, back to here. Wasp, I saw him when he was over here. He's gone. It was totally a wasp on that last time. There he is. He moved stuff. Leaves. Wooden disc, which apparently is what we're looking for. Um, is that that? Yep. Paper crown. Oh, that's not part of the mask. That's sad. Photogra phonograph? Well, we need a phonograph. Or did you mean... Oh, it was a picture of a phonograph. A paper flower. That's a paper origami lily. I used to make those in school. And that was not a wooden disc. So that was not what we were looking for. A skull, a starfish I saw. Key, a pine cone, and a wrench. Key, pine cone... Hey, look, we got more spam. I'm becoming uh, internet famous. Key, wrench, skull, wooden disc. Key, wrench, skull, wooden disc. What is that? There's skull. Oh, that's not the skull? Really? It's a skull. Ah, there's the wooden disc. Skull key wrench. I didn't find any. Is that the key? Oh, I thought that was part of the elephant statue. Wrench is right there. And a skull that isn't this. Oh, so we're doing pixel clicking again again. Spam. Spam, spam, spam. Okay, so that's the key to the last locked door upstairs, I believe. Stairs? Nope, must be downstairs. Yep, it's this one. Okay. Do we know which way is up? Because that's important. Alright, well that's either up or down. Let's figure it out. I assume. I might be wrong. Alright, let's try the middle to start instead. I wonder how much more of this game we've got. We've got to be getting close to the end. There's no more rooms to open. Okay, I think I'm a little crooked. Oh, that's the top. There we go. But it's not. So there must be another one. Ta-da! You have to go Dungeons and Dragons soon! Oh no! What time is it? How long have I been playing? I've been playing for an hour and a half. Oh, uh, I wonder how much more of the game we got left. Um, you know what? Let's stop here then because I'm getting hungry. 
and I didn't eat dinner yet and it's almost seven o'clock and that was really dumb of me. So we will stop here and we will play again in the very near future. I, yeah, I know eat dinner. I was streaming. I can't stream and eat dinner. That would probably be very rude unless it was a very specific type of stream. Okay, so let's go back up to the main menu. Is that what that's called? Or are you just making that up? All right, uh, we will play more of Charles Dexter Ward and figure out how we get back to that island, etc. And we will do that again very soon. I didn't say it wasn't a thing. I was just confused as to if that was what it was actually called. I've lost my train of thought. We're done now. <laughs> I hope you had fun. The next one we do will be the end of that game. And then we'll have to try something else again. Okay. I know. I'll take my meds next time. Shush. Shush. So I am Fate Touched, and I will see you later. Bye.